audience for this kind of content. Yeah. My nose is dry and peeling because I was sick. I'm still actually like blowing my nose non-stop So that makes sense why it's peeling while well, it's so hot I'm doing my skincare before I get ready to head to the gym I kind of wanted to share with you guys just a few things that I feel have changed and just improved my life over the last like year or so I've just noticed like a huge improvement in my mood in my mental health in my productivity don't you just love when bananas just don't open the right way if you've watched me for a long time you know that I dealt with depression and anxiety for for like huge portion of my life. It's something that's just gotten in the way of relationships, friendships, how I feel day to day, my job. It affects a lot of things. When you're not feeling good mentally, you tend to push people away, distance yourself, you feel very alone, stuck, unmotivated, and just really crappy about about yourself and everything in your life it's really hard to be productive and it's really hard to stay motivated do the things that you love doing because everything just feels like it's had the joy sucked out of it it sucks i would have a depressive episode probably like once a month it was just a cycle of like not feeling good but not feeling good enough to help myself, feeling bad because I didn't feel good enough to help myself. Last year, I made some New Year's resolutions that I promised myself that I would stick to. I had this idea and this version of me in my head that I wanted. That's who I wanna be. That's what I want my life to look like. That's how I want to wake up and feel every day. And I knew the things that I needed to do in order to get there. It just, it felt so unattainable and just impossibly difficult. But little by little, I just started making these changes in my life and I have felt so good mentally for the past, I'd say like half a year at this point. I'm really like shocked and surprised, honestly, how much better my anxiety is. I haven't had a depressed episode in months at this point like months and months that's wild like that is not normal for me I know that there are a lot of people that follow me that also deal with depression and anxiety or whatever it is I've shared a lot of that with you guys and I also just want to share things that maybe you can implement into your life that have impacted my life in such a positive way I have been making my bed every morning for the past like almost a year and a half at this point I like the way that my bed looks made I like the way that it makes my room look and feel and just getting into a nice made bed at night like it just feels good it feels clean you're getting your first task of the day accomplished right when you wake up that automatically just kind of sets your brain up for like okay first task complete we're already feeling productive we already got one thing done completing my entire morning routine from that moment on just feels like okay i'm being productive checking things off I'm getting things done. It just sets a certain mood for the rest of my day. I also really like to sip on something, make something to drink in the morning so that I can sip on it while I'm doing my skincare. Sometimes I'll get up and just brush my teeth, get dressed, and head straight to the gym, do my skincare afterwards. But sometimes I like to just relax a little bit before I go to the gym. Sitting and doing my skincare, taking my time on it, making a nice drink, coffee, whatever it is, enjoying some quiet time alone in the morning. I love it. What I haven't been doing is getting enough sleep though. I've had like a few late nights, so I do need to catch up on my sleep. Right now I'm feeling like I could sleep for a full like 24 hours, honestly. I need to go and to like hibernation. One thing I have been doing though is trying to drink less caffeine because I had a time in my life where I was drinking coffee every single day. Like every morning I would have my coffee and then I decided to stop and I had really bad caffeine withdrawal. It was not fun and I didn't like it and I was like, okay, um, let's not do that again. Let's not completely rely on caffeine every single day. I stopped drinking coffee for a while. Now I'm just like mindful of when I drink coffee. If I have a coffee, I'm like, okay, well then tomorrow or for the next few days, like I'm not allowing myself 
to have any coffee. If I am having coffee that day, I don't want to have it first thing in the morning, like first thing when I wake up. I don't think caffeine affected me in a negative way or anything like that. Just personally, I just don't want to rely on it. Yeah but we love caffeine here. Working out has also made like such a huge difference in my life. Some sort of exercise in a day is important. Even at home workouts, how I started getting back into working out this last time, I was working out at home a lot. Just recently as of the past couple months, I started going back to the gym. Just depends like how I'm feeling that morning or like what workouts I have to do. Usually when I do abs and arms, I'll just do them from home. When I'm doing legs and glutes, I like to go to the gym just because they have heavier weights there and machinery that I don't have at home. If I was able to have an at-home gym, like a whole setup, I would never step foot in a gym. This year, my resolution was to like stay super consistent with working out because last year I was working out, but I was it was like super inconsistent. Sometimes I would realize like a month went by and I hadn't gone to the gym. I had a time period where I was just 100% focused on cardio and that kind of got me back into working out. Just the feeling of going for a run outside with Harley or just running on the treadmill and just making sure I get like those steps in, I felt good. And then I slowly started getting back into weight training and growing my muscle because I was like, okay, like I'm getting really lean, but I feel like I'm losing a lot of muscle. The feeling that you get after a workout, like it just... It just feels so good and I like starting off my morning like that. I know some people like working out at night or in the afternoon, but I like doing it in the morning because that way it's included in my morning routine. It gets me dressed, it gets me going, and then afterwards I can like shower and just get ready to start my day. I've always known that exercising is a great way to help and improve your mental health. It's just hard sometimes to get motivated and stay motivated. For me, what motivates me, I follow a lot of gym girlies on Instagram seeing their posts sometimes they'll post like reels of certain workouts that they do and I like switching it up sometimes when I go in and trying new workouts they are my inspiration like seeing their photos seeing their progress also another thing is just not thinking just not thinking before you do things and I know it's really hard when you have anxiety when I'm anxious I'll like overthink everything and I stress out about everything that I have to do and then I'm like you know what I'm just not gonna go to the gym I'm gonna cut that part out I'm gonna just cut my morning routine out everything just seems like way too much too overwhelming I have mastered the art of not thinking you are going to get your morning routine done you have to get it done you have no other choice you have to stay determined you have to stay consistent and you're gonna do it you're gonna get up you're gonna make your bed you're gonna go brush your teeth you're gonna do your skincare you're gonna get dressed put on your cute little gym outfit don't think about it just put it on Take your pre-workout and step out of the door. Once you're outside of the door, there's no going back. I do that just without thinking. Put on a podcast, put on headphones as soon as you wake up, listen to music. Don't think about, do I really want to go to the gym? Don't think. Just do. Pretend you're like your own personal trainer, your dad, your mom, whoever it is that was in your life that was really strict on you. Put yourself in that mindset and tell yourself that... You have no choice. And even if you go and you're miserable and you have a shitty workout, at least you went. At least I came here and I did 10 minutes on the treadmill and I did 10 push-ups. Celebrate that. And the more you continue doing that, even if you work out for 20 minutes, you don't even have to leave your house. I'm not saying you have to step foot in a gym. Just get dressed. Don't think about it. Start your workout. How you feel about yourself overall, your confidence, your energy, your mood, it impacts all of that. I have been very consistent with working out this year so far. I feel really good. I'm proud of myself for it. My mind run deep in my thoughts when I didn't have it. Sleeping on the floor, wishing it was a mattress. Now I'm in Hollywood with actors and actress. Where everybody bougie, latest trends and fashions. I'd rather keep it a buck, a hundred if you ask me. I was trying to pay the bills just like last week. I was trying to sell a deal just like last week. Trying to run plays and run it up like the math leaks. It's in my DNA to have hope and make a way. Good energy will hit that MJ fade away. Miss me with the hate and now, bro, not today. Stayed in my lane, didn't complain. This is meant for me. Whatever come my way, this was meant for me. Trying to share my story, this is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop without a hating dog, man. This is meant for me. Whatever come my way, this was meant for me. Trying to share my story, this is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop without a hating dog, man. This is meant for me.
I think I'm gonna take Harley to the park. So I'll probably just grab like a breakfast sandwich while I'm out. Oh my God, this tastes so good. This is the first time that I've mixed strawberries and banana in with this protein powder. It tastes so freaking good. Usually I'll make like a vanilla coffee protein shake. This is a powder I've been using recently. This is vanilla plant protein powder from Care Of. And this is also the time that I take my vitamins. I do want to thank Care Of for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've worked with Care Of before. I love them. They are the ones that got me into the habit of taking my much needed vitamins. So I feel like vitamins can also be a little, I don't know. First of all, you're like, I don't even know what I need. How do I know what exact vitamins I'm lacking? There's so many different vitamins out there. It could be a little overwhelming. And then it just sucks going to the store and like getting each and every jar of every single vitamin. Care of just made it so much easier for me. And it comes in this like cute little packaging. All my vitamins are already ready for me to take and eat each individual little package that actually always has a cute fun joke or quote on the back. It simplifies taking vitamins and I appreciate that very much. If you don't know what Care of is, they are a health and wellness company that ships high quality vitamins and supplements and powders conveniently to your door every month. All you have to do is take a short quiz to kind of determine what vitamins you are in need of, whether you need to manage your stress to get more sleep, you're feeling low energy, whatever it is. You answer a few questions and Care of will give you doctor backed recommendations. Like I said, they also have protein powders on there. They have different supplements that you can incorporate into your day, as well as, of course, the vitamins. These individual packages just make it so convenient and super easy. I take these with me when I'm traveling, when I'm taking a road trip somewhere, put them in my purse, make sure I take them every single day. And I have been taking vitamins consistently every single day since the beginning of last year, I think. I mean, I've been feeling great. So obviously it's doing something good for me. I was recommended seven different vitamins. This one is the ashwagandha vitamin. This one is for managing my stress. Another term for this one is the chill pill. I stress easily, so this, this is my lord and savior right here. Next we have these two. These are multivitamins and iron vitamins. These just cover any nutrient gaps. This is a probiotic blend. So this one helps with my gut and immune health. You guys have been made aware of my stomach issues in the past. So we need to take our probiotics. This is astaxanthin. And this one is for skin and eye health. Vitamin B12, very important. This one helps with my energy. And lastly, we have this this omega-3 fish oil for heart health. If you've been wanting to start taking vitamins but you don't know exactly what you need or where to start, click the link in my description box, take the quiz really quick, see what options it gives you. They mail you out 30 little packs of these a month so you have them to take every single day. If you wanna get 50% off, that's half off your first order of Care Of, you guys can go to takecareof.com and enter my discount code mestrella50 or you can visit the link down below my description box. That's code M Estrella 50 for 50% 50 off your first care of subscription order. That's half off your first care of order. Hello, are you listening? Thank you, Kara, for sponsoring this video. We love you. Let me give you guys a quick grocery haul of everything that I got. I 
went to Target and then I went to Trader Joe's afterwards because Trader Joe's is just my spot to get flowers from and to get good fruits and vegetables from because Target, they kind of suck in that department. Got a couple avocados, strawberries, raspberries, shredded lettuce for my lunch today, thin sliced turkey chicken breast, car fresheners, some cute little press on nails. The non-food items were not even on my list. I just... Claritin, creamy basil alfredo sauce for my dinner later. Dave's Killer Bread, whole grain burger buns, bananas. Lastly, vanilla Greek yogurt. It's time to make some late lunch. I never eat my meals on time. I'm trying to grow my appetite back up because ever since I've been, actually even before I got vertigo, my appetite and everything got thrown off and then after that i got a cold i need to like work it back up to where it was something that's really important to me and that has helped me just you know feel energized obviously you have to eat food to get energy is making sure that i'm eating breakfast lunch and dinner try not to let myself slack off on that especially if i'm going to the gym and working out i need to make sure i'm also in taking enough calories and protein and all that good stuff. I'm gonna make some plant-based buffalo chicken patties. I love the Morningstar Farms plant-based stuff. I always get like their little buffalo wings. They're more like chicken nuggets, but so good. Putting these in the oven, super quick, super easy. And then some seasoned gold potatoes. Got my flowers for this week. This is honestly, it's probably one of my favorite things to do. Going and getting my flowers for the week. I don't know. I just love it. Self-care, self-love activity. I made myself this goal, I think it was for New Year's last year. One of the things that I was really focused on last year when I made my New Year's resolutions was to be a little bit more spontaneous and go out and do things for myself that I wouldn't usually do and just kind of put myself out of my comfort zone more, learn new things. Without realizing it, sometimes we just get stuck in the same routine, doing the same thing every single day, doing what we're comfortable with and we forget that there's like so much out there. And so I told myself that I was going to take at least one day out of every week and do something nice for myself or do something fun for myself. I would make sure I wrote it down and I'd be like, okay, next week I'm gonna take time out of my week to go and visit this cafe or find a new park or go on a hike go try some new restaurant whatever it is i feel like it's helped my social anxiety so much i feel so much more comfortable going out and doing things alone i feel so much more comfortable visiting new places alone it adds a level of excitement to my week and it's something that i'm looking forward to do something nice for yourself you don't have to rely on anybody else to go check out something that you've been wanting to go see. It doesn't even have to be going out and spending money. It could be taking a day to pamper yourself, picking out a cute recipe and making something cute and delicious for yourself, visiting a cat cafe, getting a new plant. Could be literally anything. I'm sitting on my couch right now with no pants on. It is just that time of the day. Okay, about to continue reading this book. I'm ignoring this huge pile of laundry that needs to get folded and put away right now. We'll deal with that later, okay? Right now, it is the time in the day where I need to just relax. I feel like I've been up and out and about all day. I just want to sit here and cuddle my cute little dog and read my cute little book that I've actually been really enjoying. I got this book in my last vlog. Okay, someone's taking over the show. I'm almost on page 100. I'm just really enjoying seeing heartbreak and how he's moving on from this breakup as a guy. Before I get into reading this, the last thing that I kind of want to talk about, this is probably the most important thing that has made overall the biggest difference in my mental health. There was one thing in particular that I knew for a fact it triggered depressive episodes and that was alcohol. Everybody knows, right? Alcohol is a depressant. Even though I knew that, obviously being 21, 22, like early 20s, you go out, you drink, you go to parties. I was doing that a lot then. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to do the same thing that my friends were also doing. I wanted to not be the only sober one at a party. So I just kind of was like, I'm just gonna deal with the consequence and feel completely off for the next week just because I want to have fun and enjoy 
myself with my friends and drink. Not that I had a problem or I was drinking excessively, just that let's say we drank like two weekends out of the month. We would get together and hang out. Then there's two weeks that I'm completely down. So that's something that I'm just like super self-aware of now. Fast forward, as I got older, alcohol is just not really part of us getting together and hanging out anymore. We all kind of have more responsibilities. There's things that we need to prioritize. I've kind of cut out alcohol, not to the extent where I just, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna drink anymore. Like sometimes I'll have a glass of wine with dinner. Sometimes I'll go and have a drink with friends, but I've realized how much happier and healthier and how much more productive I'm able to be when I'm just excluding alcohol from my life. It can just make things so much worse than they already are. With that also, other things that I felt like were becoming kind of a habit it for me that I wouldn't consider a problem at least not for other people that also do it you have to just kind of be aware of your mood and how you feel when you do certain things because even though other people might do it and they might feel 100% fine and be able to be productive and be able to go about their life and function perfectly fine it might not be the same for you and with that also comes like surrounding yourself with people that also have healthier hobbies I feel like it's really important to cut out any toxicity any toxic people any Anybody bringing you down, anybody who has unhealthy coping mechanisms, unhealthy bad habits. Having people like that around you all the time, it's hard for you not to get like sucked into that and feel mentally drained around them. That was another thing that I feel like definitely needed to happen in my life, getting rid of people that I feel like sucked the energy out of me, the energy that I already did not have. Try trading those bad habits for something healthy, something that can impact your life positively. Start reading, learn how to play an instrument, learn a new language. Put your time and effort if you're just completely bored all day with hobbies that are helpful and good for you. I know that it can be really, really difficult but there are so many things that you could do that will improve your mental health drastically. There's just so much to say on this topic, but I think I've said it all, I don't know. When I promise myself anything, it is so important for me to keep it. I don't wanna break my own trust. Out of everybody in the entire world, you should be so much more determined to put in the effort for yourself, show up for yourself. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, 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 so much. I I appreciate all of you for always supporting me and being the best audience. I will see you in my next video.